All right, so I just got back from my Iceland Norway trip and I just did a giant grocery gro grocery grocery run words What is English and got a ton of stuff? I've never done a grocery haul before so I figured it would be fun whenever I post like food related things on snapchat I always get a bunch of questions about what I eat and just request to do a grocery haul. I have like a couple huge things in a couple weeks. I have Kendall's wedding and my cousin's graduation, which is in like a warm place. So I'm just trying to eat healthy for the next couple weeks and I'm gonna be doing Jillian Michaels. Um, I'm not like a big dieter or anything. I just try and put healthy things in my body, which is sometimes challenging with work. Basically with two jobs, I have like no time to cook. So slow cooker recipes are my best friend and let's just get into the haul. I also wanted to pop in super quick to let you guys know that this Tuesday I'm going to be doing a live collab with three of my favorite ladies here. There's also going to be a $200 Sephora giveaway. So head to strobe.me slash strobathon. They also just got an app so you can download that and find the page there. It's going to be super fun. Everyone has 30 minutes to do some kind of crazy challenge thing. So go to the page to subscribe to be notified when everyone's live. And I will see you, Bayritos, there. So here's all the food I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we're just going to go through this pretty quick and show you guys what I eat. So starting with breakfast, I'm trying to get some healthier options. I usually eat avocado toast every single day pretty much and some form of egg. But I want something quick. When I go to work, I'm really bad and I usually end up getting something from like Starbucks in the morning. So I'm trying to bring healthier stuff to work. I don't like eating breakfast right when I wake up. I usually have coffee at home and then I go to work and eat something around like 10. So I'm going to try out this oatmeal. This is apples with cinnamon. I'm not a huge fan of oatmeal, but if it has like a ton of cinnamon in it, we're usually good. This has six packets, no artificial colors or preservatives, blah, blah, blah. Got some natural pepper jack cheese slices. I get this mostly for wraps. I like to make like turkey wraps with tortillas. So that's what the cheese is for. Fat-free cottage cheese. This is really good to eat with uh, tomatoes or just I like to eat it with carrots actually and it's pretty filling and I love the taste of cottage cheese speaking of cheese Wow, I got a lot of cheese. Um, this bad boy is my favorite cheese of all time This is not like low anything or healthy by any means But the creamy Swiss original from laughing cow is amazing when I make my avocado toast Which I get a ton of questions about on snapchat. I just use usually sourdough bread a little thing wedge of this cheese and then avocado, obviously. I never tried this tribe hummus. Thought I'd give it a go. It's gluten-free. I didn't know there was normally gluten in hummus, but apparently there is. Then I got some yogurt also for breakfast or just snacks. This is Greek yogurt. I really like Greek yogurt. It's just a lot thicker. And I just got raspberry, vanilla or plain, and then blueberry. And this is also for the breakfast. Also, I'm filming this on my Sony new sony a5100 camera let me know what you guys think this is like my vlogging camera now this is what i brought on my trip then we have what is this garlic which my whole freaking car smells like garlic now so this is whole peeled garlic and i just like this because i one hate peeling garlic and two it comes in these little vacuum packed bags so i feel like it'll keep it fresh for a while and this is a ton of garlic but i usually cook with a ton of garlic so perfect i got three avocados there's the third and then i'm trying out this bread i haven't tried this before this is the dave's killer bread organic 21 whole grains and seeds has three grams of protein 60 calories per slice and 12 grams of whole grains so a lot healthier than sourdough bread i freaking love the taste of sourdough though so i got these sourdough english muffins to try i don't know probably gonna be switching between these then i got some bananas which they didn't have any yellow bananas don't you hate that i got two things of fruit mostly again to take to work with me i do not eat fruit unless it's like cut up like this which is really bad i know because it's, you're like paying way more for what it is like this thing i think was 2.99 which is ridiculous like you can buy a whole cantaloupe for less than that but so anything fast like this it's just worth it to me to get fresh ground turkey 93 percent lean and i'm going to be doing a crock pot recipe today actually because i'm working from home today it's like a taco bowl recipe i love crock pots you literally just plop in all the ingredients so one of the ingredients is the ground turkey um then we have three apples. I like to eat these with peanut butter or just by themselves. Then I have a lime and a lemon. I couldn't remember if I needed this for the crock pot, so I just got some anyways. This is part of the crock pot recipe, taco seasoning, 
Whew, I'm like out of breath. Same with this. This is just diced tomatoes with green chili. Then I got some corn just because and some refried beans. Again, I just always like to have beans. Then I have kosher dill pickles. I love pickles. I could eat this whole jar in one sitting. And I have two of these vegan ramen. It's basically like ramen, but vegan. Haven't tried this before, but looks promising. I got two things of peanut butter because it was buy one, get one free. So I got one chunky, crunchy peanut butter. This is again the Open Nature brand and then one creamy peanut butter. When I am like eating healthier than I usually do, um, I like to get chocolate chips because I'm actually not a huge fan of chocolate, but it really satisfies my sweet tooth. Whenever I'm having a sweet craving, I'll literally eat like five or 10 chocolate chips and I'm like totally satisfied. I got these lightly salted rice cakes. I like to put peanut butter on these or tuna um, as like a lunch and here's the tuna. Again, this Open Nature brand, Chunk Light Tuna in Water. I got salmon to make. This is just super easy. You just wrap it in foil and put some lemon and butter and then cook it in the oven. So for wraps, I'm trying out these tortillas. These only have 70 calories per, tor per tortilla and five grams of protein, which is, I think, pretty good for tortillas. High fiber, low carb. They looked fine, so we'll try them. Moving over here, I got some peeled carrots. I like to dip that in hummus. Some spinach, I like to put this in smoothies or my juicer. I didn't get all the stuff for juicing this time, but I'll probably just be making some green smoothies. Celery, because I think the crock pot recipe called for celery, or why did I get celery? I don't even remember now. Something I was doing called for celery. And then some kale, I like to bake kale chips or just make like a salad and put some kale in it. I actually really like the taste of kale, which is a recent finding for me. Three bell peppers, this is for the crock pot recipe. Two zucchini, also for the crock pot recipe. Onion, crock pot, and then cilantro. So then going over here, I just got storage containers. Whenever I make a crock pot recipe, I have like tons of leftovers that I put in the freezer and I have meals for like weeks. So I just got that because I couldn't remember if we had enough containers. I typically drink 1% low fat milk, so this is what I got. And then I love orange juice. I know it's not the best for you. There's like a ton of sugar in it, but I just feel like breakfast isn't complete without orange juice. Some cooking spray because we ran out. This is just nonstick canola oil cooking spray for the pan. And then I've never tried this. The kind of green juice you buy is not nearly as good as the kind that you can make at home. Like I put way more veggies than what's in this can and they're usually typically super high in sugar. This one is, it has 53 grams, so I wouldn't drink this whole thing at one time probably. And then I love sparkling water. For me, I need to, like something carbonated when I eat a meal. I just think it makes it taste so much better. Instead of getting soda, I get sparkling water. One regular and then one lemon. So this is everything. So if you guys like this video and you wanna see more grocery hauls, give it a thumbs up. I usually switch between Safeway and Trader Joe's. So this was obviously Safeway. If you guys wanna see a Trader Joe's haul next, give this video a thumbs up so I know. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this quick grocery haul. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.